Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Frankie B, Frankie B, technology tutorial. Hi, I'm Frankie B. And this tutorial is about how to make awesome intros for your videos. And the key to making awesome intros is to keep it neat, keep it short, and keep it sweet. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. First things first, you get me? And the first thing you need to do is to have Sony Vegas installed on your computer. Now, Sony Vegas is not free, but if you don't have it, you can always download the 30 days free trial to make this awesome intro and you can use it for 30 days free of charge. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you. Basically, we'll just be editing the samples template. So we'll need to download the sample templates. We're using templates because they are free and super simple to edit and customized to suit your taste. I will leave a couple of links in the description down below for you. You can click on the link to download or you can just type in Sony Vegas templates in the search bar. So go ahead and type into the search bar Sony Vegas intro sample templates. From here Click onto the link under the Velus Office site. They've got loads of free templates to choose from. Then search around and find a sample that you like. Pick one that you're happy with. I've already chosen one. And I'll be using the one I use for my intro. You'll need to subscribe to the channel as a condition of the download. But I think that's a fair exchange and the principle that nothing is really free. You get me? So go ahead and it will let you download the sample template. Make sure you choose the download button for Sony Vegas and it will download in a zip file. So you will need WinZip or WinRAW to open the file. When the file is finished download, open the file by right click and extract files. Now to edit the files, open Sony Vegas, go to file, open and find a file wherever you saved it, usually on your desktop. Double click on it to open it, double click the folder and select the files, the one that says open this, then click open. Now the files are in Sony Vegas and we're going to edit the files. There are three file clips and the editor tracks, text, video and audio. Now to zoom in and out on the editor, just turn the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now we're going to edit the text and add fades to the video and audio. To edit the text, we're going to click onto the Generated Media tab and type in the text of your choice, usually your name. And I'm going to type Frankie B. We're going to adjust the font size to 36, choose bold and italic, and placement to the center. Properties and effects, we're just going to leave as is. And Frame size, we're going to change to 1920 by 1080. Other features you can change, color, properties and effects, but well, we're not going to adjust these today. We're just going to leave as is. But if you like, you can adjust these to taste. No need to save changes, all are saved automatically. And now we'll close out and that will take effect right now.
to just audio grab hold of this little blue, blue tab and move it down to reduce the volume down and to adjust fade in and fade out grab this blue tab at the end top corner of the clip and drag it inwards approximately 10 to 15 offset is good and we will do the same to the video and the audio fade in and out to approximately 10 to 15 offset now that's cool now to render in now before you render your video you'll need to set the parameters to ensure you get a full complete video rendered and the best qualities by dragging these yellow handles to select and cover your video but sometimes these handles are a little bit fidgety so you can just double click on the track and that will select the entire length of all the tracks for you you get me now to render your video go to file render as magic avc slash acc dot mp4 dot avc which is basically mp4 to save for best quality then click render Render time will depend on your computer speed, but shouldn't be very long, less than a minute. And now we'll have a look at the finished product. And there you have it. Perfect. You now made your personal video intro. You get me? That is cool. Thank you very much for watching. And just one more thing before you go. Now if you like this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.